today Netflix launched their latest original series, the Nostalgia Bait Fuller House, the continuation of Full House, uh, starting with uh, 13 episodes here in the first season. And I realize I am Mr. We gotta get rid of this nostalgia trip, right? So why are you watching this? Well, I don't like the idea of reviewing a TV show. TV shows continue. Feels like you kinda need to see all of them. But in the very least, this is a pilot review, and I saw the second episode as well. But as Fuller House goes, it's an excellent reunion. Maybe a pretty decent launching point for a series. And in a series that I think there is room for continuing. This isn't as simple as Seinfeld now. Everybody's just kind of where they were again. This uh, brings up the circle of life. There's even a joke there regarding Simba. In the original series, Danny Tanner, his best friend, Joey, his deceased wife's brother, Jesse, raised his three daughters, Michelle, Steph, DJ. And then of course, Becky comes in. She has a relationship with Jesse. They end up with twins. Uh, DJ's best friend, Kimmy Gibbler's there. That's your full house, right? Well, 29 years later, the house is still there. Whether or not this is the original house, I can't tell you. If they mocked this up to look like the original set, they did a bang up job of it. Like serious props there for the art direction. Because it looks the way I remember it. And I haven't seen Full House in at least 15 years since I've seen it, even in syndication. But it was a show that I watched every episode of way back when. And I feel like I still recall enough of it. Uh, in the first episode, we have everybody's catchphrase. Cut it out. Have mercy. Uh, what, whatever Steph says. God, why, how'd I just forget it? Uh, in, anyways, uh, yeah, Full House. Uh, it looks very much like the original show. We start with the intro song. Then it kind of gets usurped by Carly Rae Jepsen singing it now. Showing the new cast as we have the adults moving on with their lives. They're leaving San Francisco for Los Angeles. Three sons of DJ Tanner are gonna be raised by her, Kimmy, and Steph. Though familiar, that's the natural route to take this. I, I feel like the time has done well for it. The jokes, there's, uh, there, this show was never laugh out loud funny. I know I, I had laughed out loud a lot on Family Matters back in the 90s. Full House, not so much, but it is kind of a, a nice family sitcom. Even in a time where shows skewed more adult, like Married with Children, Seinfeld, this was the old guard. They kind of sexed it up a little bit. Did we need to know that Kimmy Gibbler is a master of the Kama Sutra? Steph Tanner is a, is a DJ in England. She talks about popping pills and then changes the subject. Interesting move there, Fuller House. And yeah, we do have the original creator on board. Everybody showed up for the reunion first episode. And I watched the second episode. And I like the progression and the angle we're taking with all the kids. You can see the traits. You got middle kid from DJ is a whole lot like Danny Tanner. He's obsessed with cleaning. Uncle Jesse popped by, kind of forgot his guitar, sunglasses. Tells him, hey, the solution is to always hug it out. Back in the 80s, we hugged it out all the time. And sometimes you'd even hear violin music. And I was thinking, what violin music? But then they show you at the end of the episode, they hug it out and you get that, the, uh, the musical cue there from the audience to go, ah. And he's like, yeah, I swear I just heard violin music. Absent are the Olsen twins, who my understanding of it were never asked to return for the show. So when they just say, oh, Michelle is uh, off in New York running her fashion empire, then they stare at the audience. I feel like this is a move that Red Letter Media created, the stare for laughter. I saw it brought up in the series finale of Two and a Half Men. Yeah, there's a lot of meta humor here. It's a very self-aware show going forward. I'm sure you're gonna hear a lot about that also. There's probably gonna be some more jokes about how things used to be. And I feel like it might even work better, self-aware, knowing how campy the original series was. It's a great reunion piece. 
as a launching point for a continuation, I'm perfectly fine with it. You know, they really struck gold with the kid actors in the original show. Kid actors are shit. But here, you know what? These kid actors, they're not necessarily to the caliber of the originals, but they're holding their own. I got a good sense of their personalities just two episodes in. You watch a, a lot of new shows and you struggle to get there with characters. If you guys watched Full House back in the day like myself, or you're occasionally watching it back in the day, you may want to give Fuller House a look. Otherwise, the show is playing that nostalgia bone. You know, they tickle you with this nostalgia. And I don't know if it could really ride 13 episodes and maybe a second season on itself. Even though the, uh, the adults are not going to be there the whole way, the kids are. Do you get enough nostalgia with the three daughters? You know, maybe so. Maybe it would have been nostalgia overload to have everybody. Check out Fuller House. <laughs>